So we have in New York a requirement, right, that every person be housed. That is not negotiable, that is. That means we as providers are taking on a mandated by the courts role of the government of New York. Is the contract that you expect again and it doesn't come through, the recoupment of funds that you didn't see coming. And, and so I think we should be careful not to overemphasize the systemic part of this, because at the end of the day, I think it's, it's, it's the judgment. And what some of the contracting process that we observe post-FEGS, uh, you know, FEGS, we shouldn't generalize, but on the other hand, it's got a lot of important lessons to it. Not every contract is a contract that every organization can perform on, even when we address some of the issues that we have been talking about. Foundation money is a flea. Government spending is an elephant. But if you take all the money that's invested in charter schools and all the foundation grants for after-school programs and arts education and all of the school-based initiatives that foundations support, and it's a flea on the backside of a $23 billion budget. So even though philanthropy might be a flea, it's a very important flea, as oh, yeah. we all fleas, know. So. Fleas can, you know, they can <laughs> nudge, they can annoy, they can sometimes inject money in places where money needs to be injected. Fleas can be really important. Government contracts all sorts of things. Uh, government has decided that they're not very good at building bridges, for example, and they'll hire a company to build a bridge. And if it costs $40 million to build a bridge, they don't say, hey, we're going to pay you $35 million and we're going to expect you to find the other five. But that, that's what we have allowed happen in the nonprofit human services sector. And it is because we're fearful, we're passionate, we care about the clients that we serve, but it isn't sustainable over the long run.